Hello, I'm James Blinken, and this is the Culturalist Breaking News Hour. It's 5 p.m. Do you know where your guinea pigs are? Don't have guinea pigs? Well, let's just talk about Trump being the end of democracy for the next 58 minutes. And maybe we'll show you something happening on the House floor. But hey, you knew that was going on already. But it's breaking news. Breaking. And that's what you either call a slow news day or CNN. Okay, a lot of news networks say a lot of things are breaking news, but CNN has to be the one that does it the most, so they need an intervention. So... CNN, what the fuck? Why is everything breaking? Why do you have to cause stress 24-7 with your red bar breaking news when half the time it's just the equivalent of a cat being stuck in a tree? Or you just use breaking news to keep people on the channel when you're not even covering breaking news anymore. Uh, remember 10 years ago when Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared and was never found? It was horrible and CNN covered it for a month straight saying it was breaking news. They treated the thing like a reality TV show. And when you switched on to CNN during that month, you were greeted by ocean and way too many opinions. Breaking news, day 21 of the search. Let's bring in a deep sea expert to discuss the survival rate of the passengers over the ocean. They sure will give good insight that will make this news breaking even harder. Oh my God, ideas like that are what turn on executives at CNN. Let's just talk about another thing. When they are actually covering breaking news, like the invasion of Ukraine, they went and did this during a commercial break. And a little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. First off, whenever I hear that song now, I think of this. Or the South, or ribs, in that order. Second, a big fuck you to Applebee's. I was on the toilet for a straight day. And three, CNN, you prove that you run your network like Love Island. You don't cut to Applebee's commercial in split screen at the start of a horrible conflict. Split screens are used for football and car chases only. What I'm trying to say is, OJ defined the split screen. CNN gets in trouble for being biased towards Democrats and hating Trump. So Republicans have Fox News and Democrats have CNN. Fuck no, you can't compare them. It's like giving a Christmas present for Valentine's Day. It's just different holiday, and it's wrong. Fox News lies, CNN just wants attention, hence the breaking news. But they don't lie, at least purposely. The point is not everything is breaking news. Chill out a bit, maybe have some more core value, CNN. Like, what qualifies as breaking news? Maybe hang up like a sign in the office, like it's a lower school classroom or something. Anyways, that's all I have today. This has been The Culturalist. I'm James Blinken, and thanks for watching.